Vision. So here he is, the number one middleweight contender getting set for this 185 pound title fight. He believes this title shot should have come a long time ago, but he has let bygones be bygones. The focus now, unseating the champion in dominant fashion and starting a new middleweight legacy of his own, 25 minutes or fewer away from becoming the new champion. We will see how he performs tonight. So here's the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world making the walk, looking to defend his title. It is certainly something that he's been able to do in the past. He has been challenged on this title run. It's not as though he has run roughshod through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge to date. All right, now our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with the same height and a similar reach. All right, just about ready to go here now for the particulars. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Israel, the last dial bender. Now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of six wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion, Alex Politan. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch gloves and we are underway. have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Kick lands. 
Single collar tie now. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. find that precise range with the high kick. Beautiful kick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Circling towards the left now. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Big leg kick lands. Oh, beautiful connection on the feet. He's got it all working tonight, DC. He's in his zone. He's in a zone, and it's going to be very difficult for his opponent to keep up with him. And he landed the right hand there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, that straight punch is gonna be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's gonna avoid getting hit so many times in the face. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Big kick land. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. Just over two minutes now to go. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice loop of punch. And they separate. What a body kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Adesanya's kick to the body, that one blocked. Oh, single collar tie here. Nice head kick. Engages in the single collar tie. Good takedown defense by Israel. Battling for hooks. <laughs> Flush right hand is true. Got the single collar tie. And they separate. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination. When you walk out to the entrance when he's in the octagon, the fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at it. Adesanya's kick blocked. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. He loaded up on that right hand, too. And they separate. Ten seconds to go. Whoa! Oh, he might be out. Whoa! Wow, these are... How about those five minutes? Huh? All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene.
Oh, yeah, right hand. Body closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Planted and fired there. Landed to the body. Oh, big left. Back to the feet. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Adesanya. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Well, he's been pretty accurate today. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Oh, no! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Great punch landed with so much power. Big shots being landed on both sides here. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Blocks the shot. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Just missing on the uppercut there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, oh! What a wrestler. That was an amazing takedown. Oh! Oh, what a beautiful, seamless transition to side mount as he counters the guillotine. Might be able to sink in a Von Flute choke here. to watch. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Takedown defense holds up. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. 15 seconds to go. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, and he connects there. Oh! How about those five minutes? 
All right, and there's the horn, and you hear the collective sigh from the crowd. They're all watching that lip, and we're monitoring it as well. Nasty, nasty gash. It's only getting worse by the moment. Doctor called in here. We'll see if he stops the fight. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. That knee might have landed there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. What a oh. tricky hit kick. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Sonia gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And he is back up to his feet. Sonia gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Oh, the difference in the striking is crazy. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. to go. Dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's gonna tag on bar here. Oh, high amplitude slam to get him to the canvas. His opponent was working on an arm bar, and he beautifully lifted him up and got him to the canvas. Well done there. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Hammer fist. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves. So free. I'm skipping jujitsu next week too. <laughs> oh my goodness.
Well, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. The official decision is in. That's where we find Bruce Buffett.